All right, one of the first things that we're going to do here is we're going to take this bag here, why it's sitting on here. So we're going to take the gas cap off. We're going to go ahead, cover up the gas hole here, and tighten the lid back down. And what that's going to let us do, it's going to let us tip the machine on its side without, um, without causing it to um, leak gas. Also down here, I got the gas valve shut off so it doesn't try to leak out through the carburetor. So we're going to go ahead and tip her on our side, and then uh, we'll get these tires popped up. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a screwdriver, and we're going to get it down here between the rubber and the bead. best way to do that is kind of put your hand here, push down, get it in, and just kind of work your way around. I already busted this side loose. Um, typically involves a lot, of, a lot of cussing, and I don't feel like doing that much editing. So we'll go ahead and did that off camera. Okay, so now basically we take this, you get yourself two screwdrivers. It don't matter uh, which kind of screwdrivers. Flat blade ones work better, but what we want to do is we want to go opposite of where we're putting the screwdriver in. So if we put it in here, then we want to push down on this side and pop that lip up, okay? And then we go ahead and put one in there to hold it, and then go over here roughly a quarter turn or so and get that side of the lip, of the bead, sorry, the bead over the lip. Okay, now we got two of them done. So let's go over here. And get it off here. So now we have it de-beaded, what we got to do is we got to get this old tube out. It has a valve stem cap, go ahead and take that off. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our, our screwdriver again. And get it down in here and snag this tube that's already in here. Now, these, these ones were originally tubeless tires. Someone had already put tubes in, and the tubes already popped. So we're going to go ahead and take these out, push this valve stem in. Get that over. You basically just fight with it until you get it out. You see how I'm pulling on the opposite side of where I'm trying to get the tube out? Kind of work the, the tire around the wheel. That just helps get, get clearance for it. That's the old tube. You can see big old holes here. That's probably for me with a screwdriver, but that one was leaking anyway. All right, so here's the new tube. You want to make sure that if you look at the tube here, the valve stem kind of sits off to one side. Okay, you want to make sure you get that correct. So in this case, we want it up. And the first thing I do is I get the valve stem in there. I take the cap off because the cap won't go through the hole very well. I put it through. And then I put the cap on, and that's going to kind of hold it in place for us while we feed it around. So that's what we're going to we're going to do first here. Take this cap off. We're going to go ahead and let's see. Maybe we can do it 
this way better. Alrighty. So we got the valve stem in. And one thing you want to make sure before you go and fill this up all the way, you don't want the valve stem at an angle. Um, these tubes, these are heavy duty tubes, so they have better valve stems, they have thicker rubber. Um, don't ever buy just cheap tubes. Spend the extra couple bucks, get the heavy duty ones. They will last you a lot longer. Okay, so, and also the valve stems, these ones have a rubber coating on the outside. Helps hold them in place very nicely. So we're going to go ahead and tuck this tube down in here. Going to kind of work our way around like we did last time. Oh, that's not going to work. And we don't want to cut the tube, you know. If we damage the tube, then we're kind of out of luck. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it up, up top here. Have the tire on the top side of the wheel. And then just push her in. The last little bit is usually the hardest. Um, these tubes are a little bit easier because they fit both 8 inch and 9 inch wheels. They're kind of a universal fit. So on the 8 inch wheels like this, they just go right in. Alright, so now we got it in, we want to make sure that it's not twisted. Sometimes they get twisted while you're putting it in. reach in there and untwist it if it is all right perfect and then oh we lost the valve stem <laughs> you know you do this hundreds of times and then uh the time you go to do a video on it is when is when uh Use vice strips to hold this valve stem in. Now we don't want it tight, okay? We don't want to set them vice grips <laughs> clamping down so tight they damage the valve stem. We just just get them barely tight enough. Alright. Now so we're gonna go ahead and just clamp her down here. Just enough to grab on. Should be good. And then we're going to go ahead and start putting this back on. So we're going to usually, with a little bit of soap on here, you can just push them on by hand. But since we don't have soap right now, we're going to go ahead and use a screwdriver. But you got to be careful not to pinch that tube. So you kind of hold down here, 
kind of work your way around. Just got a little bit left to do here. And I'm just barely hooking that lip. All right, now I'm gonna grab the compressor here and we're gonna fill her up. All right, sorry about that. I had to run the air compressor. Figure you guys didn't wanna hear it. Now, when you're setting tires, tubes or tubeless, you're gonna have this little spot here, the last part of the bead. Make sure you don't get your fingers stuck in there because um, when it pops, it, it, it'll cause some serious damage. So what we need to do, we need to fill her up the rest of the way, make sure that the bead reseats. Now a little bit of soapy water here will help definitely a lot, but all right, you see how she came right back up? Now what I do is I get yourself a, a hammer and just kind of beat on the tire all the way around. It just helps to make sure that that bead is completely set and you don't, you know, get anything stuck in there or have any issues later on. So we're going to go ahead and put the tires at uh, the pressure they're supposed to be at. And then we are basically, we're done. Um, now, a lot of times I'll put uh, like tire slime inside, inside the tube here. Um, because you know, it, it's a tube, tubes have a big tendency to leak. Um, whether you pinch it or something hits the valve stem and cuts it or, you know, um, tire slime just helps kind of prevent it. Um, especially if you've got an ATV or something, um, where you're out in the sticks and you get a stick through a tire. Now you can see on these tires, they're just dry rotted. They're, they're, they're shot and they should be replaced, but, um, you know, customer doesn't want to do that. So. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe. If you got any tips, um, feel free to leave them down below um, in the comment section there. Um, we'd love to hear any tips that you might have on doing tubes and tires. All right. Well, thanks for watching.